So that is the actual 3D printer. There's that vacuum. This is the sift machine over here. And this over here is the fuse blast, which we just got a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is like an automated sandblasting machine here for the parts when they come out of the sift machine. So next, uh, we will show you separating out these parts here and uh, you know turning them from a powder cake into parts. And then we will show you how the blast machine works. So this here is kind of what the cake looks like when you take it out of this giant tub it comes in here. So when you take it out of the actual 3D printer over here, it will be in that tub. The tub, you will transfer over to this thing, and there's your tub there. And uh, once you get it in here, you can actually take the cake out. This one's been pre-mangled. I already pulled the layer off of it and started sorting out the pieces. So the pieces kind of look like that right now in this step. And you can take this little brushes and things and kind of clean them up more if you're trying to recycle more of your powder through the sifting machine. Um, for the sake of time, we're not going to do a whole lot of scrubbing here. I just kind of wanted to show you what the actual cake looks like. I'll show you real quick a little bit more of the actual pulling out of the cake here. So I'm going to scrape a layer out. I'm just You can do the whole thing at once or you can do a little bit here. I'm just going to grab that big brick right there. But before I do that, let me just transfer these into this bucket. So obviously the more you finish these by hand, the more powder you can reclaim in the sift machine um, at the sake of your own time uh, at the, and at the sake of saving a little money. But you can see the parts kind of come out of here like so. And you just kind of break this up until you get some parts out of here. Like this. And uh, once you kind of break them up, you can kind of mix them around, get the powder to kind of fall down this little sifting hole in here. And as the powder falls down in there, it is reclaimed by the machine. So there's some stuff hiding off inside these little cubby holes here. And uh, there's all sorts of different little tools and knickknacks you can use to get stuff out of here and clean them. Right. You can sit here and brush it wherever. There's a harder brush here real quick. I'll show you what a piece kind of looks like if you were to spend a little bit of time brushing all the extra powder off of there. Okay. So this is actually a tiny little milk crate. And uh, there's all sorts of other things in here. And this here is the blast machine specifically. It has a giant stainless steel drum. I imagine it's stainless steel with some little rubber things and stuff in there. There's some little hand spots you can use. Reach your hands in here if you need to. There's the little blast arm that you move down into this position over here in order to spray the parts as they're going. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this little tub of parts here that we've gone through and kind of sort of sift it out already. Got most of the powder off of them. And we're just going to dump them into this thing, like so. So here we have the tub full of parts. And uh, this big machine is connected to a, um, an air compressor. So let's put this little arm in place, shut it, and we'll hit start over here on the machine. And it's gonna start up for about 20 or 30 seconds, and then it will actually start doing its thing. We will show you kind of the startup and the doing its thing, and then we will fast forward to what the parts look like when they come out. So here's some more of this, more of that. And over here we got it moving. And it just turned on the blaster. So as the parts rotate in there, the blaster just kind of blasts it with, with the sand blasting media. Um, we are using glass bead. There is a certain size you are supposed to use for this machine. 
I believe it was 200 to 300, oh gosh, what are they called? UMs, whatever a UM is. And uh, that is referring to the size of the bead ball. And it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if maybe I can zoom in a little. Eh, possibly. So it just blasts and rotates and rotates and blasts. And we'll go ahead and fast forward to the end product. Is the fuse blast noisy? I mean, kind of? <clears throat> Is it much noisier than anything else around here? No. It's uh, actually surprisingly quiet for what it is. Being a giant sandblasting machine, you know, it is fairly quiet. Uh, about as quiet as a giant sandblasting machine could be. It's quieter than our other sandblaster we used to use, which is a Trinco. Trinco dry blast we used to have. That blast cabinet was louder than this one is. So I'm guessing, I don't know, maybe the insulation inside the machine keeps it quieter or something like that i don't know it is quieter you could actually stand here ish from me and we could have a normal conversation without screaming i would be talking about as loud as i'm talking right now i don't know if i have the noise cancellation turned on or off on this little mic i'm using but uh it's not too loud um you know there is one part <laughs> which you'll see in a second that kind of scares the hell out of you the first several times you hear it uh, maybe you'll be able to hear it in the uh, the mic here. Maybe you'll pick it up, maybe not. We got about 20 seconds before that starts up. That is the, uh, what is it called? The rinse cycle. During the rinse cycle, it has a bunch of little floppy arms that go flying and uh, they whack against everything inside the machine. And it does make a little bit of noise and can kind of scare you when it does start. Uh, that being said, it's not too scary. <laughs> oh, just kidding, it's not that bad but it does uh, make a bit of noise. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Let me see if I can disconnect this and show you without dropping it. Here, here we go. Okay. So you got a bunch of these little flappy arms flying around. I was wondering what those were when we first set this machine up. Um, they just kind of flap around and blow air everywhere. And they uh, kind of rinse out the parts as it's going around and around and around. And uh, it will start to actually blow air out of this little guy here, out of this nozzle. We'll start blowing air as well to blow some more stuff around here in a second. And uh, maybe we'll catch that if I stand here long enough so you can hear it or not, I don't know, we'll see. You can hear all the little blip, 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 the little smackety doos going on here. Okay, here goes the other part of it. Thing. It's surprisingly quiet enough. You know, if you were like had it sitting next to a desk and you were trying to do something, you might be kind of annoyed. But uh, it's not too bad. So I believe right now it's actually just blowing air out of this nozzle onto the parts. Um, it's kind of self cleaning in here. You know, the machine stays pretty clean. As you can see, what we're looking at right now, there's a big pile of stuff on the gloves here but you can kind of you know shake it out of the way whatever so it's not that noisy it is a little noisy but it's not that noisy okay and lastly here is the difference between the unprocessed and the processed parts through the fuse blast machine and you can see it even has the ability to get these tiny little holes, which are currently focused right in the middle of the screen. You can kind of see the light through there. This one is right there and there. Those are like 1.6 millimeters. These are two millimeter holes. So it does have the ability to do a pretty thorough cleaning, even on smaller parts such as these. <clears throat> not too bad all in all here is a little cooler I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera here but there is some writing on the top there is little tiny handles on the side and the lid if I can do this with one hand pops off so I put a little couple tabs on there you got a little hole here for all your cooler space 
You can throw your tiny little beers in there or whatever. And the lid just snaps right on. Probably can't hear it, but it snaps in place. Pretty cool, and it works really well. That is a, not thorough, but somewhat of a review of the Fuse Blast machine. Uh, if I come up with any better ideas, maybe I'll do another one. We'll see. Thanks for watching and goodbye.